insight axles. Uh, I'm going to talk today about this uh, CV axle for the driver's side of my K24 swapped on the insight. So what I've got going on here is this axle is a stock axle out of a DC2 Integra. It's a, like a 94 to 01 with a manual transmission. Um, this axle is about three quarters of an inch too long. So my plan is to shorten it. I had some ideas that I threw around in the last video about possibly uh, you know, taking off the taking off the joint over here and swapping the axle shaft with the one that's in the car on the other side, but that's not gonna work. The other side is smaller. So I'm gonna run what I've got in there, the hybrid axle, the 0305 uh, Civic Hybrid Axle um, will run on the passenger side stock and then this one I'm going to shorten. So to do that uh, I've got the inner tripod joint all disassembled. It just comes off. It's got a uh, snap ring and uh, the tripod slides over here is retained by the snap ring. So once you once you take the boot off, you just slide the whole thing off and then get the snap ring and it all comes off. These were pretty these splines were pretty loose, so it didn't even need to be hammered or anything. You know, factory axles I've dealt with before have been tight enough fit that you had to whack them with a hammer a few times to get them off. So uh, I'm not sure if that's good or bad that the splines are a little loose on this aftermarket axle, but I'm going to do some stuff to this axle, so <laughs> probably is going to be the least of my problems, the, the spline fit. So my plan here is uh, I slid the outer boot back as much as I could, took the inner off. Um, so my plan here is going to be I'm going to cut it. Let's see if I can get this in frame. I'm going to cut it right here down the middle. And then... I'm going to, this isn't exactly what's going to happen, but I'm going to cut it down the middle and then I'm going to grind out uh, a section on this side here and I'll grind out a section that fits it on the other side. You'll see when I put it all together. And then I'm going to clamp these and this chunk of angle iron here to make sure it's straight. I'm going to V this out real well here. Uh, crank up the 200 amp MIG welder as far as it'll go and weld this together and then I just so happen to have a piece of black iron pipe which is not the strongest material in the world but you know, it's a pretty thick wall it happens to be just about exactly the right size to slide over this so I'll clamp it in here weld this up slide this over Get it roughly centered and then I'll weld it all the way all the way around. So this is a bigger diameter. This should add quite a bit of strength to the section that I'm uh, welding together. So some people say this this worked great. Some people say you'll die immediately. Um, I, I, I think that it has a chance of working and the other option is to spend you know, 500 or 1000 bucks on a custom axle and I'm not about to do that on a car that's uh, low bucks. So I'm going to try this first, and I may even, you know, these are these axles are 50 bucks a piece off Rock Auto. So I could even uh, make this one and uh, put it in, and make a second one and bring it with me, and how I could even make a second one for the other side, for that matter, and just have two spare axles with me whenever I'm racing it tools to switch it out. It's not that hard to change an axle. Um, then if I break the axle, that's my indication that my day is over and I need to fix it and go home. So uh, that's kind of my kind of plan right now. Oh, hi. Some excited people over there. Um, so that's my plan and we'll see how it all turns out. Uh, mainly you know, this this method is something that I've seen talked about and done on, you know, lighter weight race cars, but I've never seen anybody really do it for the street. Well, 
There's no going back now. So I've got my axle cut and my bevels made. So basically the width of this notch here is how much I'm shortening this axle. It's about a little less than an inch, three quarters, 0.8, whatever, something like that. Shorter. Uh, so what I've done is I've cut these. Didn't do a very good job on that one. Um, and then beveled the edges. So I got a lot of room for a weld in there. Um, like I said, I've got this piece of angle I'm going to clamp it to. And I'll tack it up, fit it in the car, and make sure it fits. And then I've got this sleeve that will go over it and get welded on at the end. So let's tack it up and see if it fits. And I'll be back. Okay, so here's my welding jig setup. It's got a couple of C clamps holding the axle into the corner of that uh, angle iron there. I'm going to put some tacks on it and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I've got uh, the axle tack together. It looks pretty straight to me. Uh, I'm going to assemble the inner joint and test fit it on the car before I finish it up. Alright, I've got my axle in there and I'm test fitting it. So before, with all the bolts made up, this was, you couldn't even push it in. But now that I've shortened it, it's maybe a quarter inch, maybe a quarter inch sticking out of there. So. There's the, there's the inner joint bottomed out. So I think I have enough room now. And we're going to go for it. Looks good. Alright, so there she is. Got it all welded up. Next step is going to be to grind that weld so it's roughly flush. So I can slide this tube over it and weld it on both sides of it. First, we're going to let it cool off. I'm not going to put water on it or anything to cool it. I'm just going to let it cool naturally and uh, it should be good. Now I've got the welds ground down and my sleeve fits on. It's not a tight fit. It's good enough though, I think. Um, so I'll tack this and weld it. Uh, probably the hardest part of this is going to be keeping the heat out of this joint because I'm going to be welding relatively close to it with a lot of amps. So keeping this cool and the boot from melting and the grease from melting out of there will be the key. So, almost done. I'm getting there. Alright, so there you go. Sleeve welded on. Um, you notice the sleeve is cut at an angle. Uh, that's in hopes that the uh, there's a little more weld area here. Instead of if you welded it straight across, your weld would be shorter. So if you welded at an angle like this, it gives you a little more weld area on that sleeve. That's the theory behind that. So next thing, I just want to throw a little paint on the middle section of this shaft and. Then I will put the boots, put it all back together and put the boots on and we'll see if it works eventually. And there you have it, one custom axle, all painted, put back together, ready to go. We'll see how this does. Uh, initial plans for the car are uh, stock Accord engine with 5 speed. Um, the car is going to weigh 1,900 pounds or something like that, so uh, this will be a light duty application, initially at least, and we'll see how it works. Uh, I might have mentioned this before, but I will most likely make a second one of these to bring with me in case I have an issue uh, when I'm racing it, so there we go.